This is Star Talk. Uh, this is from Nelson Sa. Mm -hmm. Nelson says, uh, "What are some of the most important non-space related advances which came directly or mostly from research at NASA?" Oh, so, well, of course, know, NASA is fully focused on space. So uh, maybe the way to answer this is there are advances that directly helped space and things we were doing in space and other things that not only helped space, but then helped what we did here on Earth. Okay. Maybe that's the way to answer this. Because right. NASA's not researching how to make your better cup of coffee. But they do utilize technology and technological advances. It is always with the mission of trying to improve our duration, time, technology, and space. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean it can't apply to very cool things on Earth. For example. Go ahead. Something simple. You ready? Go ahead. Uh, lately, if you have taken the exit ramp over of most uh, highways, and if that exit ramp has a pretty tight turn, the pavement is grooved. It is. Have you noticed that? I have noticed that. Okay. That came from NASA. And why exactly would that come from NASA? <laughs> because, because the last time I checked space, <laughs> there were no off ramps. <laughs> so I'm just a little okay. curious. Uh, okay. As I understood this when it was told to me, the uh, you have the space shuttle coming in for a landing. And it's not, the space shuttle is a glider coming right. in. All right? right. This is back when we actually put people in space. Right? How sad. Okay. So, but in the day, way back. Right. <laughs> As Bill, I remember when. <laughs> as Bill Nye likes to do, he he's always puts on his old man voice right. when he's talking. Way back in the day, um, you go back and when we flew space shuttles, when you come back to Earth and you're going to land, you are landing a glider. Right. All right. There's hardly any control over your, you know, you have heirloom flaps and things, but you're a glider. Now, suppose it's raining or there's, it's a little wet, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't want the thing sliding to the left and the right. So you put grooves in the pavement, which help align the wheels in the direction the wheel is rotating, which is the direction the road points. Right. There you have it. And so this reduced the possibility of skidding, and people realized, hey, why don't we put that on off-ramps? Because if you're going too fast and you come off the ramp, you're hitting the embankment. Right. Okay, so now you can ask, here's, here's the fascinating point. You can say, why spend the millions of dollars or whatever it took to a good? Why not just have somebody invent that right, outright? Why? Okay. okay, because no one did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, this, however cheap you think that is, right. the fact is that solution only came about when someone cared about space. Right, and it turns out when you going, I have found you go into space, people gather around who care about that. Right. Smart people who care about that. Right. And those are the problems they want to solve. You're not going to go to the smartest person in the room and say, oh, couldn't you help me prevent cars from skidding off the off-ramp of the uh, Interstate 95? Well, see, there's also no money in that, what you, that last point. Right. Well, yeah. It, it, hey, help me stop cars from skidding off the, <laughs> yeah, well, what's in it for me? <laughs> right, right. And what, Why and, should I help you do that? And I'm at the top of my class. Why right. am I going to do that? But if I instead say, prevent the space shuttle after coming out of orbit from skidding on its runway, you're going to figure this stuff out. Right. So space exploration has a way of infusing levels and dimensions of creativity in anybody who thinks about it. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you get these amazing solutions to everyday life. Oh, man, that is a great, great point. And I'm not even calling them spinoffs, because a spinoff would be we got this widget in space, now you use the widget on Earth. No. It's not even about that. No, no. Yeah. These are, I mean, some of these are direct applications just because they, as you, as, as you see with the grooves, you find use for it somewhere else, and it's extremely important to have. I, you can't think of how many thousands of lives probably have been saved by people having grooves. That, that simple little thing. That's that, simple. And that's, no one writes a story about the life that was not taken. So true. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Which is why I often contemplate suicide. Oh, Chuck. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But it just, it was hanging there. I had to say it. Medics. They're coming in. <laughs> hey, well, that was a great question, mm -hmm. Nelson. And uh, just remember that uh, NASA will continue to uh, suffer budget cuts. <laughs> so, <laughs> just figured I'd throw that in. <laughs> Just, just say. Oh wait, wait. Let me give you one more. Just one more example. Okay. So the docking uh, algorithms to get the space shuttle to right. dock with the space station. Right. There are two sort of collars that come together. Right. And there's a laser stabilizing system that enables that to happen. Right. And there's software related to that and the like. 
I say right as in I'm sure you're right. <laughs> I'm not saying right as in yes, you're correct yeah, because I, I already knew that. Right, exactly. But so, go ahead. so what we found is that the surgery used to cut your cornea, have it rehealed to adjust your vision, which we call correct, LASIK. LASIK surgery. Uh, well, we didn't always use lasers. Okay. That's A. True. B. So, uh, so now that it uses lasers, how do you do that to someone? If their eye might jiggle a little bit while you're trying to cut, right? Cause okay, that's not what you want. Two that's not what you, you want. want. Two things jiggling. you want: to jiggle eye and jiggle eye and, 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 and a cutting and, and edge. And circumcision. Right. Okay. No. So, so what they've done was adapted this laser stabilizing mechanism that allowed the cut to move with the moving eyeball in case the moving eyeball moved, and it's from the docking mechanism of the space shuttle and the space station. That's so right. so this NASA technology enabled this laser LASIK surgery to be conducted safer and more cheaply than ever before. Yeah. That's why all of a sudden everybody started getting it. Absolutely. It's because, of, it's because it came out of space. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Not the concept for the surgery. No. But just the- The concept able... from the surgery came from an accident that a guy had and cut <laughs> okay. his eye. No, honestly, he cut his eye and it healed and he was like, oh, okay, I don't know why, but I can see better, you know, uh, but- Yeah, let's, let, let's, yeah, I can imagine. Let me try it on you. you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Chases me, with the kitchen knife. <laughs> yeah, I can see better because I cut my eye. I should try to cut your eye. I bet you I could heal you. But uh, that's, that's fantastic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So- that's an example of, uh, so two extremes of examples. One where uh, uh, vision has been improved, the right. other your driving has been improved. Okay. Yeah, right, and they, both of them came out of the space program. Yes, yes. and it happens all the time. That's amazing. Yeah. That's Hey, Nelson, great question, mm-hmm. man. Great question. This is Star Talk. 